So, words cannot express how upset I am with UPS. How really upset I am with UPS. So, last week, I think it was... I want to say Friday, I think. Yeah, it was Friday. Um, I was supposed to uh, get my Urban Decay electric palette from Sephora. And... Um, the pa the tracking said that it was delivered. I I was home all day, um, and um, UPS never came. But they said that it was delivered, like a bunch of dumbasses. Um, so I called Sephora and told them the situation, and they said that they had to wait for 24 hours before they could file a claim. So I called on Saturday, and uh, they refunded my money. It just got in my account um, yesterday, or no, not yesterday, this morning. This is Monday. Um, and uh, yeah, so somebody, either it never got delivered, and it's just sitting in a truck somewhere, or lost, or whatever, or they delivered it to somebody else, not in my town. This is a very, very, very small town, like, population, not much. Um, actually, let me look it up for you. The population in 2012 was 623 in my town. So, um... Everybody pretty much knows me, or at least they wouldn't see the address and give it back. People are pretty honest here. Um, so if it was misdelivered in this town, um, I would have gotten the package eventually. Somebody would have brought it to me. My neighbors definitely would have brought it to me. So none of that happened, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it's probably somewhere else, and somebody else has a $50 pallet from Urban Decay, which thankfully I didn't pay for. It was just comp back to me so there's that so now I have to reorder it and I, I don't know I mean like it's free shipping if it's over $50 from Sephora but that's UPS so I might actually have to pay money for shipping to have it delivered through the postal service because I kind of trust them a little bit more than this sort of you know, bullshit with delivering it to your house. I've had packages, like, this has happened, like, two times where, um, they delivered Jason's, um, shoes. He ordered some K-Swiss, uh, sneakers to, um, where I work. I work in a residential home, by the way, which I'm going to get to in a second. I can't really talk about the company or anything like that. It's, uh... I read the policy on it because they just released it. I guess a lot of people have been going against policy or whatever, but I read the policy so I can disclose the company's name. It's ResCare Connections. I work for ResCare, um, um, uh, MRDD um, clients. But anyways, I work in a house and um, the guys live there. <laughs> they deliver Jason's shoes to that house. Just just a little bit of kismet there, you know, thank God that it was delivered to um, where I work. That was weird, so I just went to work one day and there was a box of shoes for Jason with our address on it, not their address. Um, and then this past Christmas, um, I ordered um, a gift for my stepdad, big old thing, um, to my stepdad, for my stepdad, had it delivered here, that was the, it's always my house. I always put my house down as the delivery. Um, but the idiot UPS guy um, delivered it to my parents' house. So my stepdad called me and said, oh, there's a package here for you. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> you didn't open it, did you? So there's that. Um, this is the only time that a package has been misdelivered and it's just out there in the world. I don't know where the hell it is. It's definitely not in this town. Um, I went to the post office because sometimes those jerks just, they're lazy and they, I, I can't say that. They're not all lazy. It seems like when there's a new guy or something or the regular guy takes a vacation or something, the new guy almost always screws it up. So, or they'll take it to the post office and just have them put it in my P.O. box or whatever. That's so stupid. But anyways, again, let me reiterate. There is an Urban Decay electric pallet floating around somewhere in southeast Kansas, and somebody is probably sticking their fingers in it right now. <laughs> so anyways, 
So let me switch gears. Just so you know, I, you know, I wanted to do something colorful this week. But I, I probably will because I have good news. I ordered another palette from Ulta. This is the Lorac Afterglow palette. Um, almost kind of like this format right here, this format of their palettes, um, except it's going to be teal on the outside. It has pretty colors in it, like fun colors. I think that summer is just going to be colorful. No more of this neutral nonsense, says the person that's wearing neutral colors. <laughs> I just filmed the tutorial for this look, so if you want to check that out, I don't know what it's going to be called, but it's a prom makeup, so probably right before this vlog. Um, so anyways, that's coming either today or tomorrow. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to have to check my post office and see if it's there. Um, but anyways, the reason that I've kind of been out, first of all, I was out for a long time because I was ill and I didn't want to put on makeup on my sick face. And then, um, horrible things happened. A horrible thing happened at work. Um, the guy that works the overnights that I don't work, because I work overnights, but it's weekend overnight. So I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday overnights. All right. Graveyard shift. Thursday, I work a double. Every week, Thursday, I work a double. I work from 4 p.m. up to 8 a.m. on Friday. All right. The other two nights are overnights. I get my full, all of my hours in three days, basically. The guy that works all the other overnights just decided not to show up. Um, last week, I believe last Sunday, um, he just never showed up and left the guy that was working the day shift hanging. Um, of course I couldn't go in that night. I would have, but I had been drinking and it was the Walking Dead season finale, so of course I was drinking. Oh, it was so good. Oh, that was one of the, oh God, that was such a good finale. If you haven't seen it, I am sorry, but you need to. You know, you just have to. I think AMC still has it on their website. I don't know, but I think so. You can even buy it on, you know, Amazon, you know, the episode, if you want to, if you want to see it. But anyways, it's so freaking good. <laughs> um, but anyways, I couldn't go in Sunday night, so it got covered somehow. Um, but after that, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I worked the overnights. This week, I worked... I just got off of work just a little bit ago, so I worked Sunday overnight, and then I'm going to do the rest of the week. Um, last week I got 59 hours. This week I'm going to be working 66 hours, so um, I'm kind of just jacked up in the mornings. So I'll be able to probably do videos unless I'm just super, super tired um, and can't do it, but I'm going to try my very best to do videos in the mornings. I don't know how long this is going to go. Next week I think they're having orientation and getting some new people in, um, so hopefully somebody will um, be working at my house after next week so that um, I'm not killing myself doing ever, all the overnights. Like, you don't understand, I'm doing all of them, Monday through Friday. I'm, I'm doing, or no, not Monday through Friday, Monday through Sunday, working all of them. Um, so yeah, I, I <sighs> my home has suffered because of it. It's a little filthy right now because um, I'm not, I've been in a coma all week, basically. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try my damnedest to keep up with uh, my videos. Um, I am so sorry if you have subscribed and then nothing has popped up in your subscription box. I'm really sorry about that, but this is the reason why is because I've been working so hard. The good thing about it is that, you know, there's going to be 26 hours of overtime and more, I guess, 20, 26, 36, not 36, 35. Something like that, 35 hours of overtime, somewhere around there, even more if you count next week because it stops on the 15th, so there's a few more hours on that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be rough sailing for a little while, um, but um, the check is going to be nice at the end of the month, and me and Andrea are actually planning a trip to Joplin at the end of the month, so I'm going to tear up Ulta. <laughs> I'm going to tear that mother up. <laughs> And uh, buy a lot of fun new things, hopefully. Um, another thing that's been going on, just as far as makeup goes, is they're just now starting to come out with summer collections. So I haven't really been buying a lot of makeup because there isn't anything really fun going on with makeup until now. So 
I wanted to show you a couple lipsticks that I picked up. Let me see if I can find the other one. Yep, okay. So the Gucci Westman, I think, collection um, from Revlon for summer has come out at my Walgreens, and I got two lipsticks from that collection. Um, the first one is a matte, and it's called Sultry Samba. This is kind of an all-over-the-place blog. So there's Sultry Samba. Very beautiful. Very bright, crazy pink color. It's insane. It's craziness. That's crazy pants right there. There's swatches on my uh, Pinterest board. Polish and powder down here. This is the one I'm wearing right now. This is called Carnival Spirit. It's sheer and it's glossy. And you really have to work to get some of it off, but on the lips it just looks really nice. It's very comfortable. See that? Just a nice wash of like an orangey coral color. An, uh, an orangey coral that works on me. So this is a color that I actually really enjoy. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that are interesting for this vlog. I haven't talked to you guys for a while. Unless you're like following me on Instagram or Twitter, you can talk to me there about things. You know, hey, what did you think of you know, the Walking Dead finale. I loved it. The whole time, the whole damn time, I was just hoping for, you know, Michonne and Rick to just kiss. Just kiss, guys. Just go ahead and kiss. <laughs> Please kiss. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was going on. Uh, I still want to know where the hell Beth is. I, I, I just need to know. I hope that she is not being eaten. Because <laughs> that's kind of a rumor that's going around, I swear to God. If she got eight, I don't know what. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I... Uh, that's just me. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what else to talk about. I really, like I said, I really want to be doing color, color, technicolor um, tutorials and things like that, but um, somebody stole my Urban Decay palette, and um, I haven't, uh, like I said, I have a Lorac palette coming, which is going to be very colorful. If I get it today, I'm definitely going to do a video on it and do swatches. I picked up some new Coastal Scents. Thing, uh, hot pots. I know that I said that I was going to do a video on this um, last week, I believe is when it was, but you know, it's just. They're okay. I didn't think that it warranted. Here's my opinion on these. The, I bought mainly mattes, um, not a lot of shimmers. Um, the shimmers are the best by far. So there's a shimmer, and these are three shimmers right here that are kind of peachy that you can also use as a blush. But um, I would definitely recommend shimmers over mattes when it comes to the Coastal Scents Hot Pots. Um, the mattes are really hard to work with. Uh, I don't foresee that with the Urban Decay palette that I'm definitely going to order again. You know... I, I think that the situation is even worse because it wasn't delivered to me and the, the representative that I called from Sephora, I mean like as far as bang on customer service goes, I say that it's not delivered, I say that my neighbors don't have it, the UPS says that it was delivered which is a lie and you know they could have been like well let's overnight one to you, that would have been stellar. <laughs> that would have been fabulous, but I think that I'm going to have to order from Ulta now, which kind of, you know, you have to wait a little bit longer for that to come, but, um, anyways, <sighs> yeah, it's just, you know, first world problems, it's not a big deal, but I was really looking forward to it. Another thing, if you follow me on Instagram, I said that I was going to try the uh, nail stamping, I got a kit from Fingers, which is a little kind of nail art brand that you can find at Walmart. I don't care for the stamping. I'm not good at it. Let's see if we can get... I am not good at this. It's just... it's Nothing's really happening with... I can't get... Uh, I can't do it very good. And I don't know about this stamping business. Maybe they weren't very good plates, but um, uh, it's kind of a fail for me. It took a few tries to even get one to show up. The white that they sent with the kit, the white polish that they sent with the kit, I tried to stamp over a very dark blue. It was pretty, you know, 
dodgy. I don't really like it. So uh, that's probably a bust. I'm sure that if you got like a better brand like Conad or something like that, uh, stamping kits, they'd probably work a little bit better. But the Fingers one isn't that great. What I do like from Fingers is their nail transfers. They're basically like little temporary tattoos that you can apply to your nails and then top coat it and it's awesome. Really easy way to do nail art um, for those of us who can't paint little portraits on our fingers. <laughs> um, I, I envy those people that can make little masterpieces on their nails because that's crazy. But yeah, this did not work out very well. I didn't really like it so I'm probably not going to try that again. <sighs> Is there anything else to talk about? There's not really a lot of interesting things happening except for butthole work. Which I, I like my job and everything. It's just I don't like to feel like I'm living there. <laughs> so that sucks. Um, yeah, not not a lot going on. Uh, I don't know what else to say, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> oh, this vlog is quickly going nowhere. <laughs> I guess I'll just end it there and uh, say I'm sorry that I've been absent and I will try to make it up to you as much as I can. And now I'm going to go to the post office, see if I have a package there, and if I do, I'll do a video on it, and if I don't, I'm going to pass out. So, I will see you next time, guys. Bye!